Uh, hey, YouTube. So y'all get into this thing with the word network. This is something that Larry Reed is talking about tonight. I find it interesting. Uh, so apparently the scandal is this guy who owns the word network, who is Caucasian, his name is Kevin Adele. Adele. He texted out a picture, right? He's a white guy. Virtually the whole station is African-American. It caters to African-Americans, right? This is not unusual. You go to a black neighborhood, the cleaners is owned by Chinese, liquor store is owned by white people. And, you know, people, we have not, we have not traditionally owned everything we've been involved in. It's, so it's not unusual to me that a white person would own this network, right? Things are beginning to change. I mean, Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, people like that are able to do bigger things now. But I'm not shocked to find out this dude is white. He did something, apparently very recently. He took a picture or texted a picture. I don't know if he created the picture or not of him as a white pimp. He's got a big a white mink coat on, big white mink hat on stereotypical of what they, they used to do in the exploitation movies of old. This is the way pimps used to dress. He's got this gray big old stretch limousine SUV he's blinged out and then he's got these people who work there that let me see. People who have shows on their network Kirk Franklin, Joshua Holmes, Creflo Dollar, and George Bloomer. Okay. So he's got them in dress and white as all but all under him. Like He's a pimp, and they are, are his hoes, is the implication. Well, I don't know how the other people who were involved in this photograph felt about it, but so far I haven't heard anything about the other other people involved in it, Kirk Franklin, Creflo Dollar. I haven't heard anything yet. But this guy, George Bloomer, took offense at this photograph, right? That was being texted out. He found it very offensive. I'm sure he thought, I'm nobody's hoe. You are not my white master, nor my pimp. But this guy apparently thought, thought it humorous. He found it very funny. So when George Bloomer confronted him about this, saying that he didn't think it was funny and that he should take it down and should stop the foolishness, this man did not acquiesce and he continued the joke. He sent him some kind of a picture with, uh, he's standing there with some white guy and he's taking a marker and scribbling all over the face, implying blackface. So the guy, they're at war, these two, over this dumbass picture. Now, I don't know why this guy couldn't say, listen, you're on my network. You are paying us revenue. If I've offended you, why wouldn't I just take that stupid ass picture down? What was the big deal? But this guy felt animate that he had to keep that picture up. So now the word network has got trouble. There's been a petition being circulated to boycott this network, right? All because of this picture. Now, apparently this man might have had racist views or he may have done racist things in comedy and just before, but George Bloomer had never encountered it, right? So now he's circulating this petition to boycott the word network. Now, my personal experience with the word network, they've been boycotted. I don't even know if I have it on my television. I don't know if, if, if I can even get that channel. There was a time when I was a baby Christian, when I was seeking the word every day, and I needed to connect every single day, it seemed like. I would have the word network. It would be there. But what I discovered was that damn near every sermon at that time was on homosexuality. It's a, a part of almost every sermon. All the different pe pe people they had on there, they all seemed want to focus in on homosexuality as if it was the primary message of the Bible. This is the primary message. So a long, long time ago, maybe 15 years ago, there was no more ne word network. And as I said, I literally do not know if I even get it in my cable package anymore. 
I don't want to hear what those people had to say. So now I find it ironic that people they're going to they're going to they're going to boycott this station because of this pic taking that one picture that was uh, uh, racist. But they could get away with talking about their, their homophobia every sermon for years. When they started, we started first started the, the fight about uh, uh, same-sex marriage. Every sermon, no one was offended. There was no boycott. There was no nothing. So, anyway, that's just where I am with the word network. I don't need the word network. But people who are influential, people who are who are becoming Christians, who are watching all this television stuff and all that, and need this to be fed, they're being fed all this garbage. Like this is the primary message of of the Bible. I find it extremely offensive. Right? That's a sidebar. Back to this issue. Will I sign this petition? Probably. I mean, this 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 photograph was racist and ridiculous. Why would this man who is making his, his money off of African-American people, why would he be so callous as to be so offensive? Particularly when this man has made a point of it. Actually, he's, uh, I believe he's left the word network now. This is George Bloomer. And he's cam campaigning to have the station ignored, boycotted. Right? So, anyway, I found all that very interesting. The petition, I'm not going to post the petition here. I'm not even going to post this photograph because I'm sure these people are the kind of people that want to flag you for everything. You know, use my image. Oh, you use the word, uh, whatever. But uh, I, I wish people would take a fit I mean, because it's an odd place to be when you're African-American and you're gay, right? But you're only supposed to take offense at the parts that offend your, your blackness and not your gayness. Like one is more significant than the other. And they aren't. You're just who you are. So I don't support the word network anyway. Uh, and uh, I would suggest you guys check out this petition. The petition uh, pretty much says it all. Uh, I'm not sure where you would find. I guess I could go ahead and post a petition in my, post a link to the petition in my uh my description here, and you guys make up your mind, is this significant or not? It is racist. It is childish. And uh, the feud between the, these these two guys shouldn't have happened. This guy, if he thought that was funny, that's his sense of humor. He should have acknowledged that it wasn't funny to some people, particularly the people who you make your living from. He should have immediately taken that down. It should never have been created. As far as I know, it was created by some random person on the internet, but he forwarded it, and he forwarded it in a text message. That's where he made his mistake. So it's, it's, it's doubly uh, terrible if he posed for it, but it looks like it's just pictures that have been photoshopped in, in there. You know. Interesting to see what Kirk Franklin and the other people at the Word Network, how do they feel about this man's leadership? George Bloomer is bringing it to the forefront. But are there other stories there? Are there other stories? I see this as becoming big. Becoming big because this owner was foolish enough to allow it to become this. He could have easily, he forwarded it. So, I mean, did he make it? He could have given us some kind of explanation. Because anybody on the internet can just take pictures and glue them together and then send, out, send that message out. But just to, basically because this guy is for, is texting it, forwarding it, or laughing at it, is his crime. So I think we need more infin information to find out if this person is really a racist, just capitalizing and pocketing money from, from the black community. All right. Larry's talking about it tonight. You guys go to his page. I just found it uh, very interesting. Uh particularly considering my, my view on the word network and Christian television in general. If they can't respect all people, to me, in my opinion, shouldn't even be on the air. The thought that they, they can get away with their blatant homophobia and spreading, spreading their, their hatred, I think it's wrong. 
That's it. I think it's wrong. TBN, whatever. I mean, I needed a lot in the beginning. You find out you don't need all that to know God. Just my two cents, people. I'll post this thing down here, I guess. If they bitch and complain about it, I'll take out the link.